Gone are the days of paying hundreds of dollars for photo editing software that's difficult to learn. There are many free or relatively inexpensive online options, and I'm going to show you some great ones to test out. If you're not familiar with what the toolbar symbols mean or what they do, here's a good place to start. Since many of the tools originated from either old school printing or Adobe Photoshop, it's best to look over this primer first. The symbols are generally universal, so you won't have a problem understanding what, say, the eraser tool does, or what the different lasso tools look like. Started in January of 2009, Sumo Paint has become a popular choice when working with photos online. It's got a full set of features, including layers and a multitude of effects. You don't need to sign in for use, which makes editing much faster. It's also a thriving community where you can explore and share images, making the experience more interactive. Another popular application is Pixlr, which is integrated into Flickr, a photo sharing service. Calling themselves the most advanced online image manipulation tool on the web, you can upload custom brushes or use their pared down Pixlr Express if you don't need the full editing package. It's also completely free and no login is necessary. If you want to share your edited image easily, Pixlr also makes a sharing upload site. Simply find the image you'd like to share, click upload, and you've got a picture online that you can send around to anyone you like. If you need something very pared down without lots of whistles, Lunapic is a good option to try. It makes mirrored effects simple to manipulate and resizing a cinch. It's interesting to see different properties Google has purchased and why, which is what makes Picnic so fascinating. Purchased in March of 2010, Picnic seems like another online photo editor with two price points, free or premium. What makes Picnic stand out is you can directly load photos from places like Facebook, Flickr, or Picasa to edit, then re-upload the photos back to those sites, cutting out a lot of extra work. What Google will do with Picnic is yet to be seen. If you're looking for something a little fun, Auto Stitch will turn an entire set of photographs into a panoramic shot. It takes many photos of a wide space, blends them together, making one continuous image. And if you're into Polaroids, Rollup will instantly make any photo into a worthy replica. Lugging around a huge field camera or specialized lens isn't what most people find appealing. But if you like the selective focus effect, then Tilt Shift Maker is for you. It throws portions of a photo out of focus, making it look similar to the old style large format camera effect. For a quick resize, the online application called Resizer is simple and fast. It can change an image size if you need something small for, say, a profile photo. Then, if you're not quite sure what to do with all these newly edited photos you just completed, you can send them out to friends and family in a sleek presentation style format with Animoto. It's a free slideshow program that includes background music, making still and moving images look smooth. There are many other options which I've listed in the description of the episode. If you have any suggestions, please send me an email to rbtech at rocketboom.com. I'm Ellie Browntree, and this has been Rocketboom Tech.